Hey guys, this one's not going to be as formal as my usual videos where I have to do intro. And I'm thinking of doing one of these every Wednesday or so, just to kind of have something on the screen. So right now, as you can probably guess, I'm in the middle of the new Elf Quest. If you haven't done it yet, and are planning to do it, um, fair warning, there's going to be a lot of spoilers. I am doing this to get my quest game back at the moment. But I figured I'd just talk about this quest scene because I think it's finished. So if you haven't noticed or haven't talked with me in the game before, which 90% of people watching this won't have, I'm not a big fan of the Elf Quest series. I'm just going to say that right now. I really can't stand these quests. Now, don't say I just hate puzzles because I love puzzles and like monkey madness. But I just don't like the elf puzzles because they're always so far spread apart. It's just a pain to do. And I guess I. Oh, I'll have to make sure my name is censored. So, this quest, it's not as long as Morning's End Part 2 and 1 but it's still pretty long. And just the way they set up the quest, you know, it's well made. It, all Jagex quests, except for like two maybe, are pretty well made. But it just doesn't seem like this quest has much effort as some of the other ones. Like if you look at Fate of the Gods, that was pure gold. Or Branch of the Darkmire even, from to go even farther back. Anyway, so, not to dwell on this point too long, I just think there could have been more to this quest in the Ritual of the Majorat, while Guthic Sleep, Fate of the Gods kind of thing, more areas, I mean, you spend half your time in Lieta in this quest, I found, and then just this puzzle thing at the end, it's a cool idea, but if you can't see the whole map, it gets a little tiring, it took me a good hour to get all these mirrors working before I started recording. I was initially going to record each phase, but when I started doing it, I realized just how painful that would be to make you sit through all this, so I just kind of skipped ahead. Now, at the time of recording, the Elf City is not officially open. I don't think it's supposed to be open. Anyways, continuing on. Sorry if I pause a bit. This is not, again, one of my formal videos, so to speak. This is more just kind of me rambling about things I didn't like in this newest quest. Finally, I can wear my quest game again. Now see, this is something I also didn't get. They give us all... Why can't they just give it all to us at the moment? Why does it have to be in a lamp? I mean, if it's a choice in skills, then I understand the purpose of having a lamp. But this is... just seems like a waste of my time. though, this is me just kind of rambling on about things I was irritated with or found annoying. It's just the rewards for this quest. I mean, wearing my quest cape was the ultimate goal to get my cape back on. But I really don't see why I needed to... Oh. That's interesting. Okay, this actually does make it worth a little bit more. But I think it was worth all the irritation to get just this. Some rather measly reward, I must say, this exoskeleton. Looks cool, but the fact that I only go to Pyramid Plunder once, maybe twice a year now, and that's just to recharge my scepter. I mean, I've got a whole horde of pyramid artifacts waiting for me, so I really don't need this. 
but just if it increased the chances of finding like the black ibis outfit or something like that i'd be fine with that i mean that would make it worth it because that outfit's pretty hard to get a hold on we are in the process of regrowing so i'm best betting if i climb up the stairs that i'm going to find it's not yet safe to enter okay that just about solves my dilemma if they'd actually i'd be able to exit that way so that's going to lead to the elven city when it's done and we have no idea when the elephant city is going to be done. It's too dangerous to enter. Well, I went into the wilderness. So, so eventually the elephant city is going to be there. There's going to be a ton of rewards, magic trees, all sorts of things. And you know what? If had that had been released at the time of doing the quest, I'd be okay with that, because I'd have something immediately I could look forward to skilling in or training my rather measly uh, herb lore. Yeah, I'm gonna admit it, my herb lore's not that good. Anyways, so I just thought that could have been better. And then finally, the Dark Lord, he wasn't as intimidating. He, he, they've built him up during the entirety of the quest line to be this gigantic monster that, you know, we thought was Zamorak at one point, not Zamorak. And then it just turns out to be a part of Saren that went a little cuckoo. That just seems like such a letdown to me, considering how much build-up there was to this guy. And then the final fight really wasn't a fight. I mean, it was more shoot him a few times with the Zarai until his chest starts spewing energy. And then once the chest starts spewing energy to, uh, well, you saw what I had to do. It just wasn't really a boss fight. I mean, you look at, like, Ritual of the Majorat, we had a giant war on the Ritual Plateau. And all the puzzles and clues and cross-mapping that got to that made the conclusion all the better. This, we had this huge build-up. I mean, you start a revolution. Sorry for the spoilers. And then, just out of nowhere. Boss fight. Hey, you're done. It just didn't seem like something... It just didn't seem like they had fought the boss all the way through. And they, they did. They, it's solid. There's no glitches. There's no major flaws. It just doesn't seem like boss fight, so to speak. It feels like the old dragon from Demon Souls, where you really don't fight the thing so much as you just, well, destroy it with giant ballistas, but that's a different story. So that's my take on the Elf City. The Elf City quests, just Elf quests in general, let me know what you think. I'm actually rather eager to hear what everyone thinks about the newest quest and the Elf storyline in general. Are you like me, embittered and think it's a waste of time? Or are you like about half of my friends list who are claiming it's the best thing since Walgothic sleeps? Let me know in the comments below. This is the Great Pernix Thief. Thank you for tuning in for my little rant.